Howdy y'all. So today doing a little unboxing video on a German sports guns handgun here. We'll take a look here. Made in Germany, long lasting precision hammer forged barrel. That's a good start. Nice case. Let's flip it around and see what the Germans have provided us. And we have our firearm in a bag here. Let's get this out of here before it suffocates. All right, so we have here the German sports gun 922. This is a 1911 style 22. And with the exception of a few differences, it essentially is a 1911 in 22. In fact, it's compatible with a lot of 1911 parts. So that's pretty cool. This happens to be the California compliant model, which makes me a little sick to my stomach and I feel a little dirty holding it, but it was what was available when I went. The difference between the two is this is a non-threaded barrel. They, uh, let's get this chamber flag out of here. They kind of cap where the threaded barrel version would have the threads. They kind of put a cap on there here. Let's just take a quick look here. So your slide stop, your thumb safety, your grip safety, your magazine release, all 1911 controls. You have an aluminum trigger, skeletonized, skeletonized hammer, really nice extended beaver tail. You have uh, some polymer grips here, the checkering, kind of classic 1911. And this thing weighs about 32 ounces. It feels like a center fire 1911, a commander, you know, commander length or officer length. This does have some things I don't like. It does have a magazine disconnect, which I absolutely hate. But again, compatible with 1911 parts, I think you can do something about that. And the non-threaded barrel. Well, you got three dot sight system. Dots are a little small for my old eyes, but they do seem like nice sights. And all the controls, mag drops free really nicely. This does feel pop metal-ish a little bit, but it is metal. This is a 10 round mag. Now, a, you'll hear me bitch about this in other videos. I hate the fact that 10 rounds is the standard for 22 in the past. You could put 17 rounds of 22 in this. It doesn't make sense to do single stack 22. I don't know why that was the standard. I wish that companies would kind of modernize their 22s. This should at least be 15 rounds. The good news is you can replace the followers. There's some aftermarket followers and you can make these uh, 14 rounds, which is a step in the right direction. It could fit even more if it wasn't single stacked, if it, it was just staggered like the Taurus TX-22 or uh, the SIG or the, uh, the FN. You know, if you just did that, you have a full size grip here. I mean, this is a 1911 grip. I, I don't understand why that's the standard, but at any rate, so far I'm impressed. It's, it's heavy. It seems to be well made. The slide is very, very easy to rack. Great training tool for new shooters on a 1911 platform. Get them used to that grip safety and the, you know, sweeping the manual safety and all that good stuff. So let's see what else we got in the box here. I'm going to set that aside. No, nothing there. Get into this here. We got a bunch of goodies in here. Let's take a look. All right, so we got a cheap screwdriver, a couple Allen wrenches, and an additional set, a rear, a, a rear sight and additional set of front sights. It looks like these are a little bit taller sights, I guess for the threaded barrel version. You get a sticker here, German sport guns. Now I'm not super super familiar with German sport guns. I have a buddy of mine that has the full size 1911-22 and he loves it. He says it's a great gun. He shoots it all the time. And he's the one that recommended German sport guns to me. I kind of wanted to check out the commander length just because I do like that. I'll probably order the full size as well. Here you have your warranty card, limited two year warranty. Not a great warranty, but better than nothing. Caution. Your GSG 922-22 caliber pistol contains a magazine disconnect safety. Yay! 
hate magazine disconnect safeties, but again, compatible with 1911 parts, you can do something about that. If your instruction manual, you get a dummy round or a snap cap. So let's go ahead and insert this into the magazine and we'll test out trigger pull here. And these magazine, the top of these feel a little sharp, even this one, putting those rounds in. So I may order uh, another Maglua for 22. Uh, getting about 4.6 pounds, so, so somewhere about, you know, four and a half, five pounds. Now, oof, good ejection. Just by feel, that's a really nice trigger. My guess is my trigger gauge is uh, not registering right. That feels more like two and a half, three pounds than it does four and a half. But nice little trigger on it. So let's see, uh, zinc alloy slide. You got really nice serrations up here. They are very usable. The slide's really easy to rack, light. The controls are all really easy. It's the 922, and we're gonna get it out to the range, test it out, and I will get back to you with a follow-up video of first shots and impressions. I appreciate each and every one of you watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. It all helps the channel. Y'all stay safe.